Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Matt Money Shot, snipping out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay for you today, as well as a defense I'm going to be focusing on. This is a defense that I put out in the past uh, where essentially I said it was one of the best run defenses in the game. I still feel that way, uh, but I found out a really good way to make it uh, essentially a nano blitz. I've been running so much that I had to figure out a way to make it a really good pass defense as well. Before we get into that though, who's your Super Bowl pick? I mean, we just got the two teams, Niners and the Chiefs. I personally have been saying I think the Niners are legit pretty much since maybe like six weeks into the season. They just look like a Super Bowl winning team to me, and that's who I'm going to pick. Uh, but let me know in the comment section. We'll go back and forth. If you guys have your pick, let it be known. Other than that, I mean, the defense that I'm going to pick, I, like I said, I've shown this before. It's the cover one QB contain. This has been my number one defense for a very long time. I, I've been saying uh, if I want to shut down a player's run the ball a lot, this is the defense that I'm going to come out with. This is, to me, the number one run defense in the game. And I'll show you that setup. But I run it so much that I eventually found a really good setup for a pass defense. And I was really surprised that this is, without a doubt, one of the nastiest blitzing formations in the game. Now, this first play, I switch it over to the cover two invert play. Now, to me, if this, you know, if they spread you out too much, this play might not be the best way to go, but uh, ultimately, you know, this is this is something. If somebody's running through wide receiver sets, the three tight end sets, this is the way to go. So all I'm really going to do is spread everything. It's the exact same setup that it was in the run defensive play where I would spread the defensive line, spread the linebackers, only instead of using the safety like I typically do, all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this guy down into the box, line him up over either one of the guards, and you're going to see how it really gets these defensive ends off. As you can see right there, instant sack. Let's go ahead and let's reverse that. And let's go ahead and let's slow it down to see what happened. Like I said, I, I step into this gap. That's going to get this defensive end. One of these defensive ends is going to come off free pretty much every time. And you can see right here, he blocks the tight end. The running back is blocking. So we have a seven blocking setup against five rushers. And it's just an instant sack. I mean, this guy, that's not even the best you're going to see it. This 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 uh, this uh defensive end is going to come off the edge so incredibly fast. Nope. As you can see right here, I run it against a run play. Uh, gets the stop. And this guy here, he doesn't even want to continue to play. He goes, hey, he's already going to quit. I don't know what what I did in three plays that made him quit, but he conceded that fast. See ya. So he obviously didn't want none, so we'll go into another game here. I'm um, going against some pretty good teams. I mean, I don't think these teams are necessarily better than mine, but I'm definitely going against some, uh, I mean, there's stacked teams in Mutt these days. This is all weekend league gameplay, by the way, if I didn't mention that. On this particular gameplay, I'm starting off the offensive side. I'm trying to work out some new, um, some new plays out of this formation. It actually had a lot of success with it, but not in this particular gameplay because this was kind of early on in the process. When I come online in games, um, I'm always laughing. I mean, a lot of the stuff, because I can't just use the same plays that I know work uh, because obviously it's not very exciting gameplay for you guys to see me running the same plays all the time. So I'm labbing a lot of new stuff in this particular game um, on offense, and it doesn't work out. So here we go in the first series, not a lot of success. Taysom Hill probably could have caught that one. That was one of my more money plays. But like I said, it's a defensive video anyway, so we're going to go right back to that cover one QB contain. If I if I can keep having success with this, I'm going to run this over and over and over because, once again, this is, that's the point of this particular gameplay. And this guy falls right into the trap. Uh, once again, I mean, running the ball, people come out in two, three tight end sets all the time, it seems, in this game. Um, he's going to try to throw out of it once again. You can see we get instant pressure. Let's reverse that one more time. So this guy really kicked it up a notch. He was basically putting every single player on a pass block. You can see right here, I get the sack around both running backs. And if you look at it, 10 guys were on a pass block. Only one receiver he had out running a pattern. That's how overpowered this defense is. I ran a five-man blitz, and I got the sack against 10 blockers. I mean, that's, like I said, this play, I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't know if the term nano really exists anymore, but when you're sending five against 10 blockers and getting untouched heat, that's pretty insane. So here we go once again. This is the run defense setup like I was pointing out earlier. To use this as a traditional run defense, I'll just do the exact same setup, but I'll bring the safety down. I'll use the safety instead of this defensive player. Last minute here, I try to switch over to the run defense or to the pass defense, but he hikes it. So I decided to use her in myself. If you don't um, get in line like that, a lot of times the blockers will be taken up and you need to sprint in like I did there. Then on third and 22, I mean, I'm just going to send a house because I'm not going to let him get 22 yards. If he, you know, instant heat on the third and long is always a good call. 
Then on fourth and 28, he's got to punt it back. Uh, obviously, I'm going to start off with good field position. I mean, he gets a heck of a punt off. I get about a 10, 15 yard return. Although, if I could have just got outside a little bit here, I probably could have been, you know, inside a field goal range already. And then, like I said, on offense, I'm not going to get a ton done here because I'm really, I'm labbing a lot of stuff. I'm labbing a scheme out of this particular uh, formation. In, in future videos, I have a lot more success because there's so many small things uh, when it comes to getting plays to work. Like right here, this is, I'm trying to make a cover three beater out of this, and it, it really can have success. But timing, reads, uh, familiarity, the more you run a play, the better you get at it. So next play, here's another one I'm labbing. This is a total fail because the A and the X route are just way too close to one another to be effective. Like I said, I'm figuring this out as I go. And then here, um, you know, we just play maker up. And we just, you just dot that, that receiver up. Next play, I mean, this is a play I'm pretty familiar with. I just don't make a good read yeah. because I'd be getting sacked so much. I just kind of force that. So like I said, the offense isn't going to get it done in this video, which is fine because it's a defensive video anyway. So, you know, back on the defensive side, we're using one of our more familiar base defense is just trying to switch it up a little bit you can't hit nope. it with the same thing over and over luckily i did a hard flat and pressed as you can see right there it takes away that route we're going right back to this defense though because this defense has been super money so gonna do it one more time like i said going with the pass defense is definitely the best way to go bringing this guy down into the gap i didn't even set up 100 percent right i didn't spread uh, because I pretty much knew what was going to happen. You see right there, he goes right by the running back again, untouched. Look at this. He goes right. He he just runs right past him. Like nobody, like he doesn't even see him. Gets the sack. This play is just super dirty. I mean, I think this play is going to become the MVP of my defense. Um, for a long time, I've been running all out man blitzes just like this, Woo! and they obviously have a lot of success. But if it's not a third and long, you can really get in trouble with that. So there, we make him punt. Uh, we're starting off. I mean, we're trying to run some home run touchdown, one play touchdowns here, uh, which yeah. that play typically works. Doesn't work out here. So we're right back flipping the ball around. Like I said, my offense is not doing anything, so my defense is going to have to get it done. So going right back to that play one more time. Like I said, I mean, this play right here has just been so money. What's great about it, too, it's super simple setup. All I have to do is spread and bring this guy down. And, on the, and we're getting heat this time on the opposite side. Typically, it was coming off the left side. I don't know if he shifted his line protection. Maybe that's why it came off of the opposite end. But you can see this guy's trying everything. I mean, he already blocked 10 players. It didn't work. He blocks, you know, multiple running backs, tight ends, whatever. It doesn't work. Now, I guess, like I said, I'm guessing he shifted his protection, and we get straight heat off of the opposite side. So, you know, not a lot of things can block this. It's super quick. It's super fast. And it's super easy. So very next play, uh, second to 16, we're not going to go away from this. If we're going to continue to have sex with success with it, why would we change? So like I said, you can see him making calls constantly, trying to make something happen. Uh, he might even have the uh, better pass protection uh, superstar factor with Peyton Manning. Who knows? Woo! Right there, he only sends three guys out on patterns on this next play. I would say I don't know why he's not taking away the play action, but even when he didn't use the play action, it didn't seem to matter. You know what I mean? It doesn't really seem to change anything. So, you know, I mean, he's definitely doing all the pass protection calls that he can, and it's really not changing his fortune. So here in third and 25, I have to cover this tight end. This kind of freaks me out. As you can see, um, you know, certain formations, because he made that, he's now making the adjustment where he's motioning over a blocker to try to help. So in this particular situation, I actually drop out of the area that I'm supposed to be. Gotcha, bitch! Which is why he gets picked up. Uh, because I know I have to drop back into coverage and then it doesn't matter anyway because we end up getting a pick because he throws it he's still worried about it and he throws it right to my cornerback who breaks on it so uh, we're getting the ball inside the five this is an opportunity where no matter how uh, you know I, I'm not going to be experimental here I'm just going to hit him with an back stretch and score uh, because you know I mean I'm just I'm not going to you know there comes a point where I'm trying to experiment and there comes a point where I'm just going to try to get the win so we punch it in on the next play. Like I said, we're not playing around. He was sending an engage eight on that play, so I guess he saw the run play coming, but it didn't really seem to matter. So going right back to that play one more time. I mean, it's worked out for us so well up to this point. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Um, and four, I mean, sending five guys against <laughs> seven blockers once again, and it's just, you know, it's so money. So here we go once again, second to 17. Woo! Another sack, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how many sacks do I have here? I mean, it's just, it's, it's unreal. So we're gonna continue with that one more time on third and 25. I mean, we've just been pushing this guy back over and over and over, and he hits me with a curveball. This is a formation that I do not recommend running this play uh, against a five wide empty backfield look. This is gonna be pretty much the Achilles heel. You can spread this defense out to the point where it's not effective uh, but he makes a bad read anyway he tries to throw it over the middle gotcha, like I said, the heat's in his head to the point where he's just throwing the ball now and uh, the computer comes up 
and makes a pick six. So that's pretty much game. I mean, this defense just, you know, was completely lights out. It's been pretty lights out for me for a lot of opponents. I wanted to share that with you guys because, I, like I said, I know a lot of you guys, um, you know, you need a good run defense also. I didn't go over that too much in this play. But uh, that's definitely, you know, to me, a top run defense. And now a top pass defense as well. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, do me a favor, hit the like button, or let me know in the comments section, and I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. You win. Perfect. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.